Do you want to get the most range out of your electric motorcycle? Let's talk about how. I've ridden over 60,000 miles on electric motorcycles and I've learned a few tricks along the way on how to get the most range out of any bike. Without question, the biggest concern that electric motorcycle owners have is how far can I get on a single charge? I don't wanna be stuck somewhere, I don't wanna get stranded somewhere. It's a really big concern. We all go through range anxiety in the very beginning, but in this video, I'm gonna share with you my tips on how I get the most range out of my electric motorcycles. They're incredibly fun to ride. Obviously, they have limitations just like any other motorcycle has limitations. Don't think that every time you go to ride that you need to apply these these tricks or these fundamentals you know the whole point of having them is just to enjoy riding them but there are some times where we need to, to get somewhere we, we're trying to commute somewhere we're trying to make a long distance or a certain distance between chargers and we want to make sure that we get there without being stranded so we're going to throw two minutes on the clock let's talk about how to get the most range out of our bikes one of the easiest ways to get the most range out of your motorcycle is to control your throttle input what's going to be the most inefficient way to ride is if you just hammer down on the throttle and try to go as fast as you can, as often as you can, especially from a stop. What you wanna do is you wanna ride the bike so that the motor is, is as efficient as possible when it's drawing power from the battery. You wanna have gradual and slow acceleration and gradual and slow deceleration. If you're always riding like a, like a banshee on it, that's gonna, that's gonna take the most amount of energy out of the battery because the bike is trying to keep up with the demand that you're putting on the throttle. The way to gauge if you're accelerating too hard is to use your butt. What I mean by that is if you're accelerating and you can feel your weight shifting back into the seat of the bike, that means you're accelerating too much. Every bike's gonna be a little bit different, so you're gonna have to test this out to really find out what's the best ratio for the bike that you ride. And then the same thing for whenever you, when you go to slow down. Remember, once you get up to speed, you have all this energy that's built up momentum, and what the last thing you wanna do is to lose that momentum, lose that energy that you've already stored up, that you're already using to slow down and then have to, to surge the battery again to get back up to speed. Whenever it comes to slowing down, if you can feel yourself coming forward in the seat or into the controls, when you're coming to slow, you're, you're slowing down too hard. You wanna maybe back off, maybe start braking a little bit earlier into whatever turn or whatever it is that you're trying to go into. It's better to regen less over a longer distance than it is to regen full power in a short amount of distance. You wanna lengthen the amount of regen braking that you have because that's gonna put the most amount of energy back into the bike. So the best way that I've found to adjust my riding behavior is to turn down the power and acceleration settings all the way down to zero on my rider profiles. I disable all the other riding profiles. This technique has saved my butt more times than I can count. I know that it'll help out you if you're trying to get the most range out of your bike. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And until then, I'll see you next Tuesday.